office and it's 91.3 Lagos Talks. My name is Michelle Agu, now 34 minutes past the hour of four. Joining me today is a, my guest, my special guest from uh, the Chartered Institute of Personal Management. He is a top performing, accomplished and skilled human resource executive and researcher with over 15 years plus of experience across high profile industries, including power, oil and gas, telecommunications, broadcasting, real estate, advertising, academia, consulting, and volunteering work. He offers professional expertise and a diverse range of skills within organizational strategy development, business partnership, change management, employee relationship management, and administrative expert HR Rose. Uh, he is also elected council member of the Chartered Institute of Personal Management. My guest today, ladies and gentlemen, is Mr. Oluyemi Adeoshun, MCIPM. Welcome to the office today, sir. Good afternoon, Mitchell. My privilege and pleasure being your guest today. Good afternoon, Lagos. We are so excited that you could join us today. I know your schedule must be so busy, but I'm so happy that, you know, on behalf of my listeners, you will be sharing, um, you know, insightful details on ways that they can grow in their career. And today's conversation is very, it's, it's, it's literally at the heart of, of of the HR profession that I think they do, maybe unofficially, but it's there. And it's about mentorship. We'll be talking about mentorship today and whether or not it's a necessity or it's a cliche. People seek out mentors in every area of their life, in their career, in their personal life. They're always seeking for role models. They're always seeking for people to grow with, people who they who they do admire to mentor them. And if 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 the mentorship is not direct, they're always seeking for role models and 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 idols to look up to to emulate to leave by you know through their character or words that that they share with them so i want to really understand whether or not mentorship is truly a necessity or is just one of those cliches thrown around in the office space or in our career life so uh mr Oli, i mean i look forward to having a great conversation with you today on this topic same yeah thank you so much madam all right. Now, for you listening, you can be a part of the conversation. All you have to do is call the studio lines 0809-1913-913 or 0809-2220913. You can also call the landline numbers on 01-515-1913 or better yet, just tweet on the app X and uh, let us know your thoughts or you can ask questions, give your contributions and submissions. And of course, WhatsApp is ever present uh, with us. So you can use the WhatsApp platform. Now, Mr. Oli, me please what exactly in your own words is mentorship and are there types of mentors or mentorship is just about one specific thing what is mentorship thank you so much mentorship may mean different things to different people but in the professional context mentorship is really a dynamic and mutually beneficial relationship between an experienced or a knowledgeable individual and a less experienced or a less knowledgeable individual. You notice I'm stressing two words here, experience and knowledge. It does not necessarily mean an older individual. Okay. All things being equal, typically older people tend to be more experienced and tend to be more knowledgeable. But the key focus is not in age. It is on experience and it is on knowledge. And there are different kinds of mentorship. You could have, for example, a career mentor. Okay, you could have an industry mentor. You could have a mentor with respect to just a skill. You could even have a mentor for networking. In other words, there may be two individuals. A is mentoring B, on financial management, while B is mentoring A on networking. Hmm. So I need to provide that to mean that, so you may have one mentor, you may have multiple mentors. Your mentorship can also be done virtually, it can be physically. Someone can be your mentor and the person has never met you. Maybe you are reading the person's books hmm. and so on and, and so forth. 
Thank I'm, you. I'm, I'm, I'm learning so much from you, Mr. Oluyemi. Um, you, you talked about a uh, career mentor, industry mentor, a mentor for networking and so on and so forth. What is the difference between a career mentor and an industry mentor? Is okay. there a difference or similarity? Now, first and foremost, if you have never worked in the oil and gas sector before and you switch career or job to the industry, you may want to get an industry mentor. Now, for example, if you're an accountant, the industry mentor may not necessarily be an accountant, but somebody who is vast in the oil and gas value chain. A career mentor can be with you even as you move from one organization to the other, one sector to the other, one country to the other. But in this instance, an industry mentor, if you decide to leave oil and gas, for example, and you go to supply chain or you go to medical line, it will no longer be your mentor because it's no longer in that new industry. So that's why I said there are different kinds of mentorship. However, there can be over, overlaps. So I, someone can be your career mentor. It now happens to also be your industry mentor. If I use a, a radio presenter at OAP now, if you now have a mentor who is a veteran in broadcasting and is also your career mentor, in that instance, that person is doubling as both your career mentor and your industry mentor. Wow, that's very, very profound. Thanks for sharing that with us. So please tell us, is, is mentoring a skill that can be learned or is something that is inborn? How, how does it really work? Okay, so let me draw an analogy here, you know, between mentorship and leadership. We also typically ask this question, that is leadership innate or is this something that is, 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 is developed? I, I would say that it is actually a combination of the two. What do I mean? There are certain things that come natural or innate to certain individuals. For example, some individuals, either because of their temperament or because of their upbringing, you know, we say nurture or nature, they may be more supportive. They may be more empathetic. They may have, so to speak, communicative skills, okay? However, these skills too can be learned. And in a professional setting, for example, even starting from going to school, primary, secondary, tertiary, and so on and so forth, we are developing a lot of skills that are useful and relevant to mentoring. For example, there's no mentorship without communication. There's no mentorship if you cannot listen. There's no mentorship if you, in, in the context of a subject matter expert, if you don't understand the technicalities, okay, of that subject area, okay, mm -hmm. like, like problem solving, time management, and so on and so forth. So even if the skills required for mentorship comes natural or innate, for you to be a successful mentor consistently over time, you must actively develop the skills through learning, through reading, through observation, and you know interacting with other mentors even at, at your level. So it is more effective if you train, if you learn, if you build capabilities and competencies around mentorship. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So how do I know I need a mentor? How will I know? I mean, what are the signs that, you know, that I might look out for within me and my environment to know that at this point in my life, I think I need a mentor. Do we all need mentors? Let's even start from there. Do we all need mentors? And how do we know we truly need mentors? Very good question. Let me start by saying that if you actually think you don't need a mentor, you probably need a mentor the most. Hmm. I'll say that again. If you feel so sure, so certain, so confident, you know, like you have arrived, that you don't actually need a mentor, you probably are the person or professional who needs mentorship and mentoring the most. However, let me say clearly here that all of us need mentors. And at the same time, all of us should also be mentors to other people. Hmm. In other words, Okay. No matter which phase of life, professionally, personally, that an individual is, 
There are people that you have overcome challenges. You have made advancements that, that you can provide support to. And no matter who you are, even if you are the president of a country, there will also be past presidents, for example, who can, can also give you mentorship, either in your country and in, in other countries. Now, let me share some things, tips generally, that will prompt you to probably actively reach out for mentorship. If you feel you will need direction. For example, you are having some form of uncertainty about your career path or about your educational choices or your personal goals. You may need a mentor. For example, if you just notice that everybody around you has, is traveling out, Japa, you may need a mentor. You may need a mentor that has Japa and has come back so that he, can, he or she can guide you about how to live for a foreign land what to expect, how to navigate it, and how to plan your, your movement back. So if you need certainty, you need direction, you need clarity, you have multiple choices. For example, three jobs, all paying well. How do you, sometimes mentorship may come in air to provide you with what? With clarity. You also need mentoring. If, for example, you realize that you need to upskill in certain competencies, certain capabilities. You would absolutely need a mentor if you are interested in career advancement and career development. They say that experience is the best teacher. Nobody says the experience must always be your own. It can be your mentor's experience. And you can fast track your career. You, you can avoid mistakes. You may be able to navigate office politics just because you are gleaning and you know, leaning on, on stepping on the shoulders of somebody who has seen that and who, who has done that. You may also need a mentor if you need to access certain networks. Typically, again, we say a mentor is more knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. A mentor is also typically more aware and will have exposure, relationship, connections. Sometimes a mentor can open the door for you. Wow. You know, a mentor, you need a mentor if you also want to be accountable. You know, okay, like an accountability respect. accountability partner. Yes, a mentor can also serve that purpose because sometimes you know what you need to do to advance in your career, but you may be too laid back to get it. But a mentor can keep you on track and say, what are you doing in September? What are you doing in October? A mentor will not take excuse from you. And because you respect the mentor, you don't want to disappoint the mentor, you tend to cooperate where the mentor is also your accountability partner in, in that context. Even so, if you so, need to go so basically, to all around, yeah. so basically all around mentors are necessary for our advancement in all areas of our lives. We need mentorship Absolutely. in all areas of my in, of our lives. That's what I'm getting from you. So it it, it simply just Absolutely. answers my question that indeed mentorship is a necessity. And I love what you said about, you know, we all should be mentors. I think I'm definitely going to go home with that particular word we all should be mentors there are people who need mentorship all around us I, I see people put together some projects some mentorship projects offering free trainings for 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 skills um different skills and and i i think we all have something to offer the next person there's definitely Absolutely. something within us that Absolutely. we can offer and and grow the people around us and impact our environment and it doesn't necessarily have to be a big deal it could be could be a encouragement it, it could be skills it could be personal development, could be spiritual life, could be anything really. So I, I do agree now that mentorship is indeed a necessity. But now I understand the benefits of, of, of having mentors. Would you say mentorship um, as an elected council member of, you know, the governing council of CIPM, would you say CIPM is providing platform where young professionals and newbies in HR can seek mentorship and guidance? If yes, how does that really happen with CIPM? Let's talk about where you are right now. Absolutely. Thank you for, for bringing that closer home. Now, when we talk about CIPM, we have branches and chapters. In Lagos alone, we have 11 branch, uh, chapters, okay? Places like Victoria Island, Amu Wadofi, Aja, Ikeja, Ikorodu, and so on and so forth. Such that within your geography, there is a place you can go once a month, twice a month to physically interact with established HR professionals. Of course, 
Most of these meetings also are hybrid. So if you prefer, you can also join online. Why I recommend physical is that sometimes it's easier to engage with someone you can see, except you've already developed a, a relationship. And CIPM2 at the national level also have a mentoring program where we pair and match potential mentors with mentees. And we provide training for, for the mentors on the professional way keeping them with the ethics and guidelines so that the mentorship is done appropriately and the goals are clearly defined and the approach and methodology clearly spelled out so that the objectives of the mentee signing up for the mentorship Wait, program my phone can, can be realized. Oh. All right. Thank you for sharing that with us. But I just really want to ask a question right now. How do we access mentors? There are people listening to us. Now we've established that everybody needs a mentor. We all need mentors. But how do we access these mentors and people around us? Okay. Multiple ways. For example, Jack Welch is my mentor. I have never met him. He has never met me. But I have six books by Jack Welch that I've bought and I've read end to end. So you can assess mentorship through, for example, books or articles or podcasts. You can go to YouTube and search for a global, I'm saying this because your mentor may be in Singapore or, or in China so that you are not restricted geographically. After saying that, you can also access mentorship within your immediate environment and conference. You ne don't necessarily to advance in life, need somebody that is far off. There is somebody in your organization right now. It can be your CEO, CFO, an executive director. It can be somebody in your church or your mosque who has and you know exemplifies the kind of progress you 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 want to gravitate towards. To it can be in your secondary school alumni association, your university alumni association. It can be in your residency association, in your estate, all around us there are mentors and mentees around. Of course, I'll let me quickly say this. When you approach people for mentoring, be, be polite, be professional, and don't come across as desperate. Mm. It is okay for someone to tell you, oh, no, I am not available to be your mentor at this time. Some people may have three, four mentors per window, and they won't want to overburden themselves, okay? So have option one, option two, option three, and reach out to them. Also look for ways to support your mentor and assist them. I'll give you an example. If it's in the workplace, a senior colleague, say, is there any task or assignment I can do for you? I have some free time on hand this weekend. If you do that two, three times, and the person is able to give one or two assignments, and you say, oh, I need one hour mentorship time. I offer to pay for your lunch, sir or ma. The chance of that person saying no. I'm saying this, that don't approach the mentor as if you just want to grab and collect. There will always be something you can provide in exchange and you won't come across as a body. Wow. I, I was going to ask that exact question. What can we give our mentors in return for, for, for the growth and the good things and all of the skills that they help us with? And all like, for example, right now on this show, I feel like you're my mentor already. The, the way you speak, the words you're saying, I feel so, I'm so inspired. And I was just going to ask, I mean, what can we do to also give back to our mentors? We can't just all be takers, you know, and the mentors just keep giving and giving and giving. And sometimes, sometimes they're thinning out. They are reaching to, they're reaching as many people as possible. What can we give them in return? Besides, you know, in the office space, for example, can you give us other examples of ways that we can also do things that are beneficial to our mentors? Okay, if your mentor, for example, is involved on, on any project, reach out and say, how can I provide support? If your mentor, for example, is having a social function, you can humble yourself and say, oh, do you need any support? I can provide oversight for the ushers. I can even help you to serve. Okay, so it depends on, on, on the context. Ask, reach out to them. Is there any assistance you need? Most of the time they will say no, but because you consciously, intentionally ask them that, is there anything I can do for you? I can help you with PowerPoint. I can help you with report writing. I can help you summarize something. Once you have an idea of the kind of skills you have and the kind of projects and programs your mentor is involved with, 
position your skills to be of service. Sometimes they can delegate something to you. I'll give you an example. A, a mentor once reached out to me that somebody wants his mentorship, but he thinks I'll be able to mentor. So a mentor reassigned a potential mentee to me and now mentored on his behalf. So there's always something you can do for your mentor. Always something. At the minimum, maybe on their bad day or something, buy a small gift. It's not the amount. Is it? Hello, Mr. Oliemi. Can you hear us? The best thing you can do for your mentor, when they give you advice, run with it, get results, and report back to them. Nothing gladdens a mentor more than positive outcomes. Wow, thank you so much. For those listening, you can join the conversation if you have questions. And um, yes, if you'd love to be a part of the conversation, you can give your own submission. If you if you are a mentor yourself and uh, you would love to share something about mentorship, do call in. And uh, if you're seeking out a mentor and you have been, um, you've learned so much, you know, with this conversation with my guest, you can call in and let us know what you've learned and also share any question that you have. He's a mentor himself. Sir, I, I believe you're a mentor yourself. How many, how many people are you currently mentoring and how long have you been mentoring? So I, I've been mentoring for over 10 years. I manage a group mentorship program. I have over 3,400 HR professionals. I provide mentorship with other mentors. You have to do group mentoring. You know, when you have individuals with similar needs, you may be able to mentor them in a group session so that you save time and they are also able to achieve the same results. All right. Thank you. Um, any final words before we wrap it up, before we go? Okay. I would just like to say that perhaps the difference between where you are today and your Next level is a mentor. Let me end with this quote. If you know where you are going, your journey is short. If you know how to get there, your journey is shorter. If you have someone who has been there and is willing to teach you, your journey is shortest. If the person decides to take you along in the program of mentorship, congratulations, you're already there. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Aluyemi, for joining us today. We've learned so much. Mr. Aluyemi Adeoshu, MCIPM, is an elected council member of the Chartered Institute of Personal Management. He's a top performing, accomplished, and skilled human resource executive and researcher with over 15 plus years of experience across high profile industries spanning across power, oil and gas, telecommunications, broadcasting, real estate, advertising, and so on, including volunteer work. And uh, well, he's offered his professional service to us with the conversation that we've had today. We've learned so much. So I've learned that everybody can be a mentor and we all need mentors. I've learned so much, but I'll keep it at that today. So we hope uh, you could join us uh, possibly in the future to share more insights with us as to as regards to how we can grow professionally uh, moving forward in our career. So again, thank you so much for joining us. You're yeah, welcome. My privilege and pleasure. I'm just a call away. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, sir. You too. Thank you for joining us, sir. Have a beautiful evening. Bye. Thank Bye. You for Bye. Yes, sir. Bye. Industries are experiencing rapid and exponential.